This Facebook user's post went viral earlier in the month where he detailed about his experience staying in a hotel running some errands and he decided to find somewhere that was around 1,200 baht per night and he found one and it was located on the fifth floor. Now the reason why he wanted to you know spend the night was that so he could like go and run more errands the next day. He fell asleep at around 9 or 10-ish but he woke up again at 1.13 a.m because he felt something weird happening at the foot of the bed as if somebody was walking back and forth and not only that he could hear somebody turning on the tap water in the bathroom and shutting it off so he decided to turn on the lights to see what was going down in the room and he took a video of his bedroom and this is it and what he saw next will make your skin crawl or not. On the tiny balcony, he saw a spirit house. Yes, this is quite unusual to see a spirit house perched on a balcony. Yes, a spirit house is common in Thailand, but perched on a balcony in front of a room is quite unusual. Now, on the wall where he was sleeping, he saw a black footprint where he said, or he claims that it wasn't there before. And what's even more bizarre is that he found two one bought coins on the headboard of the two beds that was in his room. He also asked, what is the meaning of these like one bought coins on the headboard? And comments were saying that usually when this happens, it's like you are asking permission from the spirit that used to live in that room or that space for, you know, a place to sleep. Sleep. He also saw this written on the wall as well, by in red letters, which means dead. Of course, the OP could not sleep that night. He went downstairs to request for a room change in which he did from the fifth floor to the second floor instead. When this post went viral, of course, comments were divided. Some people believed him because this room, 5110, was actually covered by a ghost reality program before. Well, others say that this is for content, those are his footprints, that's his handwriting, and the coins are his. 